Committee giving a nod to Serum's COVID shield, India now awaits two more vaccines for its approval. Let's take you through how these vaccines work and what technology goes behind manufacturing them. Three vaccines hold promise for India in the immediate future. They are COVID shield by Serum Institute, Covaxin by Bharat Biotech and Comirnaty by Pfizer. Each of them uses different platforms. Covishield is developed by Oxford University in collaboration with AstraZeneca. They use Chadox-1 virus, which is a weakened version of the adenovirus that causes common cold in chimpanzees. A spike protein has been inserted into Chadox-1 virus. When the vaccine is injected, the human body recognizes the spike protein and then develops immunity. India's own Swadeshi shot, Covaxin, is currently undergoing phase 3 trials. This vaccine by ICMR and Bharat Biotech uses a platform similar to Covishield, but there are major differences. This uses an inactivated coronavirus. The genetic material of the virus is destroyed so that they cannot replicate. The inactivated virus triggers an immune response when injected into human body. The body will fight back if faced with a similar virus in future. The vaccine developed by Pfizer BioNTech uses a modern technique never used before. The Pfizer vaccine uses messenger RNA and mRNA technology. The mRNA is a genetic code the human cells read to make proteins. In the Pfizer vaccine, the mRNA molecules are put in an oily shell which is injected. Once injected, the shell diffuses, releasing the mRNA. Human cells read these genetic sequences and build spike protein. The immune system recognizes these spikes and produces antibodies. These antibodies destroy the coronavirus when an actual infection happens. The Pfizer vaccine needs to be stored at minus 70 degrees as mRNA molecules are fragile and fall apart in room temperature. The vaccines by Serum and Bharat Biotech are more suited for Indian conditions as they need only normal refrigeration. Bureau Report, India Today. All right, so this is